Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from transportation. The problem states a parabolic vertical curve joins a grade of minus 4% to 5%. The PVI is at station 11 plus 56.3. Elevation of the PVI is 435.95. The curve passes under a bridge at station 12 plus 00. zero. The elevation of the bottom of the bridge is 480 feet. The minimum vertical clearance under the bridge is 14 and a half feet. The required length of the curve is what? So, um, if you're using the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, Chapter 78 is going to be your reference, specifically page. 78-13 and equations that we'll be pulling from is uh, 78.50 and 78.51 this one gives us length which is what we want so um, let's draw out the curve here is minus 4 percent here is plus 5 percent plus five percent not to scale or whatever okay then let me draw in our curve touches comes through touches all right that wasn't very pretty but those touch right there and then you've got this right here this is where pvi is pvi back here you've got a uh, bvc the beginning of the curve and here's EVC, the end. Okay, here's where the two, uh, these two intersections meet, PVI. We're told that this elevation is 435.95, and the station is 11 plus 56.30. We're also told that there is a bridge somewhere in between here at station 12 plus 00. I guess we'll just draw something in right here. There's our bridge. The bottom of this bridge is at 480 feet, and we're told that we have to have in between here 14 and a half feet. 14 foot 6 inches. Alright, so <clears throat> I'm going to be using figure 78.11. And if you see that, there's going to be some points underneath this obstruction, they call it, or in our case, a bridge. And you're going to see a point E that sits right here, E. There's going to be a point F that sits right here. And if we extend this, there'll be a point G. And all those line up right at station 12 plus 00. zero. Okay, and what we need to do is get these elevations because our first equation says S is equal to the square root of the elevation of E minus the elevation of G all divided by the elevation of E minus the elevation of F minus elevation of F and that's a G that looks like a G? hope so okay our second equation for L is going to be 2 D times S plus 1 over S minus 1. Okay, and this is what we're after. So, first thing we need to do is get these elevations. So, elevation of E, we're just going to take 480 feet, subtract 14 and a half feet, and what does that give us? Do, do, do. Elevation of E 465.5. Equals the elevation of E. All right. Next thing we need to do is get the elevation of F, and to do that, we need to get D. In the diagram, you'll see that the distance between PVI and the center here is called D. Okay, and D is just going to be the difference between these two stations. So it's going to be 1,200 minus. 1156.3 and that gives me 43.7 feet okay that's D next thing we're going to do is to get point F we know we are going up 5% 5% 5 
So 5% times 5% times 43.7 is going to give us 2.185 feet. And we just need to add that to the 435.95, which we know from PVI, plus the 2.185 feet. Okay, so point F is going to be 438 for 438.1, we'll say 4. That is elevation of F. Okay, next thing we need to do is get G. We know we're going down 4%, and we're going that same distance. So what's 4% times 43.7? And that gives me 1.748 feet. And we're going to take 435.95 and subtract 1.748 feet. And that gives us 434.2. And that's elevation of G. Okay, we got E, F, G. Now we can go plug it all into here. Okay, we're going to take the square root of 465.5 minus the elevation of G, which was 434.2, all divided by 465.5 minus elevation of F, or 38.1 I guess we could say 1.4 so what does that give me? I get 1.07 for S now what we need to do is plug that into this guy so that's 2 times D we got from up here which is the 43.7 feet times S plus 1 1.07 plus 1 divided by 1.07 minus 1 and what does that give me? that gives me 25 84.5 or we'll say 25 85 feet answer of C so this is a great transportation problem you're going to get one like this where they have an obstruction there and you have to deal with the vertical curve and given some of these parameters so I hope that helped you out. Head to Civil Engineering Academy for more tips and tricks. Thanks, bye.